All right, so I'm out here uh, catching ants today, and uh, this here, a uh, big pile of logs. So water comes off the top of the building and drops right under the logs, so the logs always stay wet. There's actually multiple ant colonies in this pile. We've got, um, let's see here, if you can see them, they're pretty hard to focus on. There's, um, yeah, right there in the corner. Of course, it's not focused. Um, let's see. Uh, right in the middle there. Let's see if we can get a better shot over here. So right where my fingers are, right there, there's these little tiny guys um, all in here. And then the big guy who just came over to check out my finger, those are either Nova Borkensis or uh, Vicinus ants. And I actually just found, let me switch the camera around here. So right in here is where the little guys are living. Um, I can't really get in there, but uh, you can see the, probably Vicinus, um, Campanatus Vicinus. There's another one right there. So earlier today on this log pile, right in this area, they were pushing out uh, a bunch of uh, male elites um, for flights today. And so we're going to look around at some spots where we can potentially find where the females flew off to. All right, so right as we're talking about this, um, one of the queens popped out um, and uh, was racing across the top. So um, good spot to look. Uh, for queens, and this one already has its wings off. Uh, this one, however, is a Modoc, not a uh, Vicinus. Uh, one second. Getting them into the bottles is the difficult part. Usually, when I have my test tubes, they just walk right in, but I already ran out of those today because I found so many. Um, so, I'm just using whatever I can find. Um, so anyway, good spot to look is anywhere where wood is getting wet consistently. Uh, there's another one behind you right there. So, um, right here on the ground. So here's another queen. Uh, this is also a Campanatus modoc. Um, and for capture, it is best um, not to actually pick them up if you can and just get them to, oh, that works too, get them to walk right in. And that way you don't squish, you don't pinch, you don't have any problems like that. So we're finding a ton of them here today because um, they just flew uh, yesterday and today. Um, the ones I'm really looking for are uh, the ones with the uh, red thorax uh, underside and the black top on the thorax. Um, I know they're here because they're nesting in this log. Here's another one. Once again, just another Campanatus modoc. Um, and this one looks like it got in a fight. It probably landed on the wood pile and got forced out by the colony that's living there. Um, and suffered a little damage on its legs. Uh, but most of the time, that's okay. Uh, they'll survive most of that stuff, especially if you take good care of them. Um, so. We know already that the whole area we're in, everywhere around here, has queens in it. So what the queens are looking for is a safe spot um, to kind of uh, burrow in, and usually somewhere that's damp. There weren't any queens under this one, but there was actually a colony of, um, of different ants. So there's a big piece of plywood here behind us um, that we're going to lift up. Uh, so they're looking to get out from underneath the sun. Um, so if you have big pieces of wood where it's hot on one side and wet on the other, it's a great spot to look. So you check the underside and the ground. Um, looking around here, got a bunch of pill bugs, got a snake. Um, so, but I'm not seeing any queens underneath here. Here's a worker from the log pile. Um, 
All right, we'll keep looking around. So right next to the plywood that we just flipped over, uh, there's this log and found a queen underneath it as well. So um, just because it wasn't under what you thought it would be under, look next to it. Um, this, basically anything that's laying on the ground could have queens under it. Like this right here, this could have queens under it. Um, just anything that is um, making a spot where the moisture can um, kind of condense on something, um, then the queens will like that spot because it stays moist for a prolonged period of time. And if it's a thin piece of wood or cardboard or something, then they also like that it gets hot fast in the sun. Head over here. Okay, so here we have a big uh, trash wood pile. We've got some cardboard laying on the grass here. Uh, the sun hits the top, the ground is wet underneath. Um, so right here we've got a whole colony of uh, little moisture ants. Um, so um, those are probably actually uh, Laceous. Um, Lacius Flavus workers. Um, we've got a worker carpenter ant over here. So we've got a colony nearby. Um, then we've got. Oh. Nope, that was a beetle. Okay, close. So anywhere where you've got big, big flat pieces of wood like this especially where they touch into some muddy ground. That's a really nice moisture gradient uh, for the queens to hang out in. Um, and they'll start their colony wherever in that moisture gradient that makes sense for them. Um, so we're gonna keep looking around over here. Here we've got uh, another couple of pieces of wood that are good. Right here, we got a queen right here. So right underneath this old rotten two by four piece, just laying on the ground like that, and uh, found a queen underneath. So as long as you have the right kind of area to look in, um, as long as you just keep doing it, just keep looking, um, you're likely to find queens stacked up underneath uh, some of the stuff. Um, so, I mean, if I was if I was going to go completely nuts, I would just dive right in here and just start looking underneath every piece of wood because um, the ground here is wet, and uh, anytime you get wet wood, um, it lets off a pheromone that attracts uh, the ants. And um, oh goodness, yeah, talk about attracting the ants. Check this out. So you've got a black piece of plastic here, right next to, um, I don't want to get bit, um, and uh, you've got a whole colony of these guys right here. So you've got your rotten wood, you've got your moisture. The ground here isn't sopping wet, it's actually dry, but this piece of plastic draws the heat in all day and just warms all of this up for them and evaporates out the water onto the plastic so they have clean water to drink, they have a hot spot to stay warm, um, and they're doing really good. This is a, a really nice, nicely sized, uh, medium, medium sized colony. You can actually see a couple of them here are different colors. This one right here is kind of orange instead of red, um, and that actually means that that one is new. It hasn't hardened its exoskeleton yet. Um, and so that, and same with this one right here. That's a new worker. 
So they just had a batch of workers hatch recently, or emerge, depending on how technical you want to be about it. But this is a really good sign that we have um, active colonies in this area to draw from. And so if we leave this here, then next year or the year after, they'll start kicking out queens and we can start finding queens of this species flying in this area. Um, is that a queen right there? One second. Nope, it's another beetle. Um, so that makes me wonder if there's anything underneath the rest of this. Now their colony extends underneath the entirety of the plastic. So this whole under area is probably colony, um, which puts the colony at probably multiple thousands of ants. Um, so it's, it's a very nicely established colony. This property that we're on is pretty old, has some old, very rotten buildings on it, um, and lots of piles of junk and wood and um, perfect spot for ants to be living. So we just had a, a queen fly past the camera right as we we're filming, uh, which means they're flying right now. And uh, just watched where she landed and uh, picked her up. Uh, so we'll add her to the... Oops. Getting away. So, onward. So here we've got um, that same colony has a little path right here, going across right here. And they actually go all the way across over to probably that building um, where they started at. And they're either moving from this pile to the building or they're moving from the building to this pile. This pile is a pretty good spot for them. Um, so, oh, they're right there. That is another queen right there. Still camping on a Smodok. We're still looking for a, a Vicinus queen. That's what I'm really looking for today. Um, I already found one, but it had been driven over already. Um, and I would prefer to find one that isn't injured. Because uh, the likelihood of an ant surviving an injury like that is pretty low. Um, it does happen occasionally. Um, one of these is, the one that um, we found earlier was missing a leg, and that's totally fine. They don't, they don't need all their legs um, to survive. Um, you definitely have a better chance of survival if they have all of their legs. This is the queen we're looking for. This is a Vicinus queen, or a um, uh, Vicinus or Nova Boracensis. And you can tell because it has a half red gaster and a red thorax uh, underneath. It's got a black top, so it's got a black head, black top of the thorax, and then a half black uh, gaster. Uh, use the manual zoom. On it. It's fine, we'll get it later. All right, so here is today's ant finds. Uh, 68 queens and uh, one small tapanoma colony.
some of these were uh, found over the last couple of days by multiple people, uh, but all the ones in the bottles are the ones that I found personally today. Uh, and then down here we've got about uh, 32 um, in the tubes uh, that we uh, that were given to me today that were found uh, yesterday and today. Um, and all but two of them are Campanatus modoc. The two uh, that are really good are the uh, the one in that one uh, and one somewhere else uh, in this mess. Uh, those are uh, Campanatus vicinis or Nova Boracensis, and those were the ones we were looking for today. Um, all right, so uh, good luck out there.